Hi, this is Ian Walker. What you're about to see is a portion of Beckett's play, starting from the first repeat. We took the first half pretty much as presented in a script. In the rephrasing, however, we began to play with the idea that the projection showed glimpses into their psyches. Am I as much... Am I as much as being seen? I said to him, give her up. I swore by all I held most sacred. One morning as I was sitting, stitching by the open window, she burst in and flew at me. Give him up, she screamed, he's mine. Her photographs were kind to her. Seeing her now for the first time, full length in the flesh, I understood why he preferred me. We were not long together when she smelled the rat. Give up that whore, she said, or I'll cut my throat. <clears throat> Pardon, so help me God. I knew she could have no proof, so I told her I did not know what she was talking about. What are you talking about? I said, stitching away. Someone you always give up who? I smell you off and she screamed, he stinks and bitch. Though I had been dogged for months by a first rate man, no shadow of proof is forthcoming, and there's no denying that he continued as assiduous as ever. And this and his horror of the merely platonic thing made me sometimes wonder if I were not accusing him unjustly, yes. Well, what have you to complain of, I said? Have I been neglecting you? How can we be together in the way we are if there was someone else? Loving her as I did with all my heart, I could not but feel sorry for her. Fearing she's about to offer me violence or rank for Erskine and had her shown out. Her party words as he could testify. If he is still living and has not forgotten, coming and going on the earth, letting people in, showing people out, were to the effect that she would settle my hash. I confess this did allow me a little at the time. She was not convinced. I might have known. I smell her off you, she kept saying. There was no answer to this, so I took her on my arms and swore I could not live without her. I meant it. What is more? Yes, I'm sure I did. She did not repulse me. Judge then of my astonishment when one fine morning, as I was sitting stricken in the morning room, he slunk in, fell on his knees before me, buried his face in my lap, and confessed. She put a bloodhound on me, but I had a little chat with him. He was glad of the extra money. Why did you get out, I said, when he started moaning about his home life? There's obviously nothing between you anymore. Or is there? I confess my first feeling was one of wonderment. What a male. Anything between us, he said, what do you take me for? A something machine? And of course with him no danger of the spiritual thing. Then why don't you get out, I said. I sometimes wondered if you were not living with her for her money. Then I forgave him. Licking her lips, all honey. When first this changed, I actually thanked God. I thought, it is done, it is said, now all is going out. Mercy, mercy, tongue still hanging out for mercy. It will come, or you are weary of me. Then it will come. To say I am not disappointed, no, I am. I had anticipated something better, more restful. Or you will weary of me. Down, all going down into the dark. Peace is coming, I thought. After all, at last, I was right after all, thank God, when first this changed. No doubt I made the same mistake when once it was the sun that shone and looking for a sense where possibly there is none. Perhaps I needn't sit over a cup of that green tea they must have loved without milk or sugar, not even a squeeze of lemon. Are you listening to me? Is anyone listening to me? Is anyone looking at me? Is anyone bothering about me at all? Not even a squeeze of... Is it something I should do with my face other than utter it weak? Am I told who I want to? Not necessarily now that all dangers averted. That poor creature. I can hear her, that poor creature. Bite off my tongue and swallow it, spit it out without placate you? Mine work still to be sure. Meet and sit now in the one dear place, now in the other, and sorrow together and compare <coughs> pardon happy memories. If only I could think. There is no sense in this either. None whatsoever. I can't. That poor creature tried to seduce you. Whatever became of her, do you suppose? I can hear her poor thing. Personally, I always preferred lip tins. And that all is falling, all fallen from the beginning on empty air, nothing being asked at all, no one asking me for anything at all. They might even feel sorry for me if they could see me, but never so sorry as I for them. I can't. Kissing their sour kisses. I pity them in any case, yes, compare my lot with theirs, however blessed and... I can't, but mine won't have it, it would have to go, yes. Pity them! What do you do when you go out? Shift? Am I hiding something? Have I lost? 
She had means, I fancy, though she looked like a pig. A dragon, a great roller of the scorching day, the strain to get a moving momentum coming. Kill it, strain again. To think we were never together. Am I perhaps a little unhinged already? Poor creature. Poor creatures. Never walked together on a May morning. The first to wake, to wake the other two. Then in a little dinghy. Penitence, yes, at a pinch. Atonement, one was resigned. But no, that does not seem to be the point either. I say, am I not perhaps a little unhinged already? Just a little? I doubt it. A little dinghy. Silence and darkness were all I craved. Well, I get a certain amount of both may be in one. Perhaps it is more wickedness to pray for more. A little dinghy on the river, I resting on my oars, they lolling on air pillows in the stern, sheets drifting, such fantasies. Hellish half-light, a shade gone in the head, just a shade, I doubt it. We were not civilized. Dying for dark, and the darker the worse, is strange. Such fantasies then and now. I doubt it. <laughs> yes, and the whole thing there, all there, staring you in the face, you will see it get off me or weary. Now that you are mere eye, just looking at my face on and off. Weary of playing with me, get off me, yes. Looking for something, some truth in my face, some truth in my eyes, not even. <laughs> mere eye, no mind, opening and shutting on me. Am I as much? Am I as much as being seen? <laughs> <laughs>